Um, you know, how do you see the impact of both Disney Plus and Apple streaming in uh, in the hotel rooms for now? Um, so that's one interesting point I'd like to get everyone's take on. And the second one as well that we'll we'll try and cover off in the the same point was from Keith Watts, and that was uh, whether you see five G as a future requirement to support new technology with new build hotels. So we'll get some answers on those. And then Joe and Hanu will uh, will head back to the whole AI piece and start uh, talking about a few things with you. Do you want me to start? Or? Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, start. I mean, yeah, let us know on that first point. I, again, I, I think I, I've got to be careful here because I, I you know, um, I, I don't want to be uh, sounding impartial. Um, because obviously, you know, we, we center around Apple TV. So there's the app store. So we support God, you know, there's, there's thousands and thousands of streaming services, including Disney plus and, and Apple TV plus, uh, on our platform natively. Uh, I do think it's a, it's a massive change. I mean, if you, if you looked, uh, I think when they announced the early subscription rates, I think Disney plus was on 26 million subscribers within a couple of months. Uh, Apple was on over 30 million within a couple of months, although arguably uh, that's slightly slightly twisted because they were giving away subscriptions to you know anyone that bought a new device. But uh, yeah. absolutely, I mean, look, it's not it, it, Netflix is not going to be, in my opinion, uh, the dominant force of the future because it's there's a lot of unbundling going on, you know, mm. um, both in linear channels. Uh, you know, the linear the linear channels certainly in North America, you'll see, you know the likes of HBO, the likes uh, of Showtime, they've got their own apps, so they're delivering all their yeah. content now. Uh, they, they're unbundling it, and it's the same. Netflix lost Disney. It lost a load of different titles, so it's focused on its original content um, yeah. to, to make up for that. But you'll see that now there's going to be a lot more, I think, over the coming years, more spread of different applications uh, depending on the, 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 the age of the person and the, the, their preference of, of content genre. But you have, you have to be able to offer all of it in my opinion, yeah. somehow. I think so. I think so. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, oh, Nick, sorry. I think you've well, got something uh, to say. Uh, Go for it. Maybe, yeah, one of the things I, I would say is we we tend to um, we tend to see content very much through the lens of the North American viewer, mm. right? Uh, and I think that is questionable, right? That yep. is that is a questionable also mistake, true. I yeah. think. Because I mean, Hanu is Finnish, right? I'm I'm in France here. Um, I it would it is definitely the case that if I if I go to a hotel um, not far from here, um, I mean, I have I have many different nationalities, um, and I will have possibly a, a predominantly French nationality if it's a sort of relatively sort of low sort of three starish type of hotel. Um, I think, therefore it is wrong to assume that the guest only wants Netflix or the guest only wants, you know, whatever we think it is mm -hmm. um, sort of defined by head office that says you must have yeah. this, much of this or that. Um, there are many content services and to Darren's point, I think there will be in future a diversity of content services um, yeah. and they, and they will be on demand. The one content that we haven't talked about in any um, meaningful detail here and one that I think we should uh, is linear TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, because <laughs> it, it, it is very much in the mindset of the hotelier today that we provide TV. Uh, it comes off a satellite. We, we put it up on the, on, on the TV. And then all the other movies and things have been replaced by either guest device, bring your own device streaming, or we, we're trying to bring Netflix in onto the TV or something like that. Yeah. Um, but that, um, that, that linear TV, I also see changing dramatically. In mm -hmm. fact, I would Absolutely. argue... That, that 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 linear TV is probably the most misplaced investment that we've had to date. Absolutely, because it is by definition designed for an audience that was within twenty kilometers radius of that hotel, yeah. right? And why on earth would you stay in a hotel twenty <laughs> twenty <laughs> where right? you live? Right, At the moment Everybody I would, Nick, is <laughs> staying in in a hotel 
is by definition, particularly for a sort of four star and above type of hotel, probably an, an international or a long distance traveler. traveler. Yeah. Um, and they are therefore not part of that demographic catchment area that is that defines that linear TV. And so for me, the point that sports and, and news, super important, absolutely super important, particularly, you know, sports, something like that. I would willingly watch sports and pay for it. Um, live sports on, on, on TV today. Yeah. yeah. But I think what we need to see is linear TV using internet as a medium of distribution or over the top as totally. Darren, Darren's, um, yeah. Darren, Darren described. And if we do that, we as technologists have the opportunity to bring in far greater channel selection and also to narrow and, sell, and, and tune that channel selection for the guest in, in that room. I think that's enormously high value, enormous uh, high value. Absolutely, Nick. I mean, I, so many times, you know, I only wrote about this uh, a few weeks ago in, in a couple of articles, but um, yeah, it, 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 so many times I've been involved with a project where they've just sort of said, oh, just, just you know, local terrestrial and a few rolling news channels. And, you know, if, if you have a certain subset of guests, I think, you know, it's not that they don't want to watch channels carte blanche it's more that they don't want to watch rubbish and if the channels you provide have no relevance to them and no interest to them then there's no wonder people don't watch them but if you actually spend some time to think about what that content's going to be linear as well as ott delivery then um you know there is you, you will get more views for sure but i think also there's just been this idea that, oh, yeah, we just throw this standard ch channel package on and that will achieve it. And obviously that's failed. That approach has failed us because it's not giving the time and attention and care that's needed to deliver some content that's actually valuable for a certain type of guest who wants to watch linear content. I mean, ironically, at the moment, I've probably watched more live TV than ever, but only because I've been watching the news every news. single day for the last 10 yeah. days. You know, other than that, <laughs> that's it. Just the news. Yeah. But, 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 which, but which news? And I, and I think just, just to give a, a yeah. sort of very concrete example of what I'm talking about here. So if you take Paris, which is the most visited uh, city tourism-wide in the world, right? Um, the two guests, the two incoming um, uh, most uh, significant guests are America and China. Yeah. Right? So if you bring both, both of those into your hotel in Paris and you have linear TV defined by what's available to the person in the 14th arrondissement, right? How satisfied is your American or your Chinese guest going to be? Right? Absolutely. I think yeah. very, very unlikely that they're going to turn on the TV and therefore you wasted, wasted your money. Yeah, but both, totally. of those, both of those guests have a rich a rich uh, uh, content sources in their home countries. And how do you bring that in intelligently and targeted it to, to those guests? Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're absolutely right, Nick. And I think that's, that's uh, an essential capability of any TV system or should be an essential capability of any TV system today. Unfortunately, yeah. most of them Before don't support it Before you even all. talk about yeah. movies, right? Before yeah. you even talk about those things, right? Talk, it, it is exactly that news. You can consume news. 15 minutes right i'm going to consume a movie but well, if i'm going to do it i'm going to i'm i want you know to 45 minutes of an hour plus available but I, I i want to be able to turn on my tv for 10 minutes and get the information that i want quickly if not i'm just going to use totally. my phone absolutely and it's about bringing that content in like you say to the guests looking at that guest profile figuring out where they're coming from what the demographics are what they want and, and giving them some content that that's relevant to them so such a such a really really valid point